Okay, so no major blackout in the foreseeable future, but still there are many questions about Germany's green energy revolution. So let's bring in someone who can shed some light on the subject, Patrick Greichen. He's an energy expert of the think tank Agora Energiewende, which translated would mean energy revolution or energy turnaround. Now, it's good to have you with us. Hello. First of all, tell me a bit briefly, what's the state of Germany's energy revolution? Is everything going according to plan? Well, it is progressing. Uh, <laughs> there are obviously obstacles around the, the along the way, which we have to uh, which we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But we are now at twenty five percent renewables in the yeah. electricity sector. And let, that's quite something. Let, let, let me give you some obstacles. For example, since Berlin's decision to phase out nuclear power, coal fired power plants are back in fashion. That means lignite and hard coal not exactly known to be environmentally friendly. So how does this fit in with Germany's green energy targets? Well, we are progressing in terms of renewables. We are progressing in terms of phase out of nuclear. But when it comes to coal and gas, actually there is a mistake in the system. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially our energy vendor, our energy turnaround focuses on renewables and nuclear. And the question whether coal or gas is more competitive, we have left to Europe to the European emissions trading system. Okay, which also, as we heard in the report, is a big problem because it sort of counteracts anything that you achieve in reducing CO2 emissions. And the prices are too low in the European emissions mm. trading system. Mm. So it's rather the thing that we together with our neighbors need to fix the European emissions trading system so that coal and gas are back into normal. Which brings me to the next big question, of course. I mean, politics plays a big role. We see this also right now with this big standoff between Russia and the West. Energy security, independence is back high on the agenda. And there's even talk now in Brussels about the possibility of shale gas production, which means fracking, again, not environmentally friendly. How does that all go together? Well, I think the future will be a renewable-based energy system, not only in Germany, but in the rest of Europe, because wind and solar have become very cheap technologies, and that's what we will all go for when it mm -hmm. comes to low carbon. Okay. Obviously, we'll need some fossils, and that might be some gas either from Norway so or from the UK or ah, from okay. the US. And it's, it's, it's the question of the right energy mix then. Patrick Reichen, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.